Ladies and gentlemen, from one of my favorite towns, Sleepy Eye, Minnesota, let's welcome Sherry and Doreen. Oh, welcome, Doreen and Sherry. Thank you very much for joining you. us. So you girls are from Sleepy Eye. Yes. Tell, tell us and the folks out, out there a little bit about Sleepy Eye and about yourselves a little bit. Sleepy Eye is a small little town of about 3,500, but you'd be amazed at all that goes on in the community, and mm -hmm. they definitely keep us busy with our job working okay. for the website. So, so you, you've come up with what you call a hometown information center, right? Correct. Sleepy and, Eye Online. Okay. Sleepy Eye Online. And what, what all is involved with that? Sleepy Eye Online is a website that people can go to, uh, community members or people who have a connection to Sleepy Eye to find out what's going on in the community. Uh, we have news, sports, weather, stories about people, places, events, um, pretty much everything you need to know to, to keep up with what's going on in the community. Wow, that's, that's, you know, that's kind of a unique idea, for a, especially for a town that size. How, how, did it, how did it come to be? How did it come up? And we decided to use our talents, our journalism talents, and and come up with a, a website to, you know, what we thought would be for the younger generation, but it turns out folks of all ages are, mm -hmm. are very web savvy and, and are getting information from us yeah. and enjoying our site. More than a few seniors have told me that they have us bookmarked. They have the seniors. Really? Yeah, bookmarked oh, that's great. us, yes. Well, if they learn how to do that much, that's, that's pretty well, good. Yeah, it is. So, so how do you two know so much about Sleepy Eye? Well, Sherry and I are both born and raised in Sleepy Eye. Um, interestingly enough, we went to, she went, she graduated in 1981 from public school. I was an 81 graduate from St. Mary's. Okay. We played basketball against each other in high school and we knew of each other, I think, but we weren't like friends or anything. Uh -huh. And it wasn't until we uh, actually, I moved back to Sleepy Eye years later that she recruited me for the ambulance crew and we started working together there. And then we worked together at the Sleepy Eye newspaper oh, for okay. about 12 years together. And so, you know, we, we're from Sleepy Eye. We were born and raised there. We know Sleepy Eye. Through our work with the paper, we, we have contacts. We know what's going to be happening. We know who to get in contact with. So we just, it, it's just that we're born and raised there, and we, we mm -hmm. know Sleepy Eye. So now we've got some of our people out here um, in the audience that may have a connection or whatever to Sleepy Eye. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that we get this, our site right down here where they can, they can find you out. They're going to put it right down here on okay. the Boy, a lot of photos there. I mean, do you guys take all those? Is, is, is why, why so many pictures? We do because you know, we cover an event. We really cover an event. You know, uh -huh. when you work for a newspaper, you're limited in space. You can maybe pick two or three good photos from an event, but we can go to an event and we can take, you know, I've taken for, say, prom or for, like, say, Buttered Corn Days is coming up. Mm -hmm. I can take hundreds of photos. Um, we can put them in galleries. We, we've used, oh, how many do we think we use? Maybe 60, 70 photos for a gallery. Oh, wow. To, and it's, it's a more comprehensive for coverage event. for one right. event. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And you can go from almost from start to finish because once we get to events, we know people. <laughs> so yeah. I end up talking with people more than I'm taking photos sometimes. So we can cover a whole event from start to finish. I know this is somewhat of a newer venture for you, but uh, has it been pretty successful? Are you getting a lot of hits, that type of thing? Yes, we are uh, pleasantly surprised at the number of uh, visitors we have per day. Our goal was initially 300 per day, and we've more than doubled that. We're almost at 700 visitors per day for our wow. little town. We that's think pretty that's, strong. that's pretty good, and we yeah. get a lot of reprint orders from those photos, mm -hmm. um, which is, you know, it's fun for us to, to give them back to the people mm -hmm. and let them enjoy as well, and, and we're having a great time. We didn't have elaborate goals when we started it. We had three goals in mind when I recruited uh, Doreen and some of my other people to work with us. You know, I said our, our number one goal is to have fun. Mm -hmm. Number oh, two, that's always important. Yep. Number two is to promote the community. Number three, if we happen to make a little extra cash along the way, that's great. And sure. We number one, we've definitely You've been having yeah. some fun. That's oh, good. Yeah. Some great fun. <laughs> some real fun. So now, if, if somebody in our in our viewing audience or whatever has some information or some facts, figures, some special little thing about Sleepy Eye, and they wanted to get a hold of you guys, what's what's the best way to do that? Well, they can visit our website. We have a, a spot there um, that you can submit news to us. Mm -hmm. You can submit information. You can post your classified advertising if you've got a job opening or 
you know, you want to wish somebody a happy birthday. All of that is free. We do not charge for any submissions, well, any great. content that's on there. This is this is about the community. It's a website for the community, and we definitely need participation from the community members and, and from people associated with Sleepy Eye to make it go. You know, gals, I don't know how much you know about our little show, but we, we take little breaks and we go out and we see things that are going on, like, like your stuff, but outside Sweet Swine County, and it's kind of come up on about that time so could you stick with us a little bit and we'll go see one of those sure. great sure. folks we'll be right back <laughs> hi i'm prairie ann here telling you to giddy up on over to a festival that will have you kicking up your heels as kluk's official and i mean official feature reporter I'm here to tell it to you straight, folks. I suggest that you head on over to Hudson, Wisconsin from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on September 15th for the Lions Club annual rib roast contest and cook-off at the Willow River Saloon and Carbone's Pizzeria. The rib contest features the area's best restaurants. Enjoy samples from each contest. Load your plate with fun at the Lions Club Rib Fest contest and cookout. Here's a little something I've been working on. Enjoy. Check out the Fall Festival on Broadway this September 22nd in Albert Lee, Minnesota. The festival offers a farmer's market with fresh produce, meat, jellies, jam, baked goods, and crafts, various demonstrations, a classic car and antique tractor show, local vendors, special sales and promotions, as well as children's games, face painting, train and hay rides, and more. Make a stop in Albert Lee on September 22nd and enjoy yourself at the Fall Festival on Broadway. Wow, that was an incredible community. Yeah, wasn't it ever? Yeah. It was. So now with your Sleepy Eye Online, where do you see it going from here? I think too we kind of play off of the feedback we get from our from the people who are on our site. And they, uh -huh. We get positive um, comments, a lot of positive comments, some negative comments where they don't like, where they don't understand something's a little off to them, they don't like it. So we can just revamp, you know, revamp things as it goes. And well, he's, he's small enough, stay flexible, and all that type of thing. Right, yeah. and that, that's, that's the beauty of, that's of great, doing it ourselves. Great yeah. things. Well, hey, folks, we're about out of time tonight, but we want to thank Doreen and Sherry from Sleepy Eye from, for stopping in to see us. Uh, Earl, good job tonight. Thanks. Audience, we're out of here. Good night, everybody.